you. What's up, guys? All right, we got a pretty tight schedule today. So, grab this. Say goodbye to the boy. Hey, dude. Thursday, 8.20 a.m. We're gonna actually go to 7-Eleven real quick and buy some lottery tickets. Mega millions, baby. I got me and two homies. And then we're gonna go to Antoine's, get some breakfast. I go to Antoine's literally five days out of the week. So I finally just got cleared from my doctors to like start golfing. So it's like really weird when you get injured, you like start missing everything and then you get cleared for small things at a time. It's just getting excited because I can actually see the end result. I can't wait to skate, bro. Breakfast done. All right, we are off to uh, my trainer's house. So Carlsbad, here we come. Let's go lift some weights. We developed a, a pretty insane workout program um, that's not just all about like getting big. It's, it's actually about using muscles and using exercises that are gonna benefit me skateboarding. I'm having way more fun with it now, even though I'm like, you know, recovering from an injury, it doesn't really matter. It's not my first time doing that. This is my actual sixth gnarly surgery. There's something about this drive, you know, almost therapeutic. I get this like 30 minute stretch down there and back home that are just like on the coast and no buildings around. I always feel like I'm on a road trip. You know, I don't care what people say or think. Like, for me personally, working out and physical therapy are beyond important. It's beyond important, man. It gets my body strong, gets my mind strong, helps my lungs. Like, it has incredible benefits. It's all to come back to skate, you know? Like, that's, that's what everything boils down to, being able to get back on the board. So I like the taste of Red Bull, so Every once in a while, I crack one before I get to my workout. Since COVID hit, he's had this badass, you know, workout spot in his garage. John's training facility. It's pretty tight. Conservative is the name of the game on this today. Yeah. And if we're not feeling it, we bail it. I was having problems with my shoulder not too long ago. We started using this bar. It, it puts so much movement in the actual press itself that it stimulates all the fast twitch muscles, all the small muscles that you don't really use from a press. And from doing that, it strengthened my shoulder to the point where I have zero shoulder problems anymore. This earthquake bar, dude, has saved, saved my upper body. That one burns. There's a lot of work to coming back from a gnarly injury. I don't think a lot of people know. I've had to do it so many damn times. I'm willing to go through the process to get back and, and then do it all over again. <laughs> now we're gonna head over to uh, Joe Walker, my uh, PT, and uh, go through a couple more exercises there. It's like Groundhog's Day, dude. You know, this is all I do. Um, Colin McKay just hit me up. Yo, what up, dude? How you done? I'm good, I'm just leaving my uh, my workout. I'm doing a day in the life with the Etnies. How much time do you need for me there? 15 minutes. All right, cool. We'll... Danny Way's here too. All right, we're rolling. What's up, big dog? Good to see you too. Can we show off some of the boards? We can show off some of your skateboards. Danny Way. You good. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Now. Through this injury, and like I'm mentally strong enough to like have the willpower not to like come back too early. I mean, so... what's four weeks or eight weeks after that many months going through that process is yeah. It's the same as like the tattoo that I have. Hi, right, bros. All right, we'll see you see tomorrow. You see you later. Yeah, later see you tomorrow. Guys. Got to check out some of the new graphics and talk some shop with Danny and Colin, which is all, always just a trip to me. Legends, dude. Now we're at my uh, physical therapist. Uh, with circulation, you know, with blood flow, you get nutrients and restrictive training. So if I go fast, that will actually activate the muscle. If I go long, slow strokes, that actually puts the muscle to sleep. It's hard metal. <laughs> it's like a bottle opener. Yeah, it's very dull to the touch, but then when with pressure, it's like very heightened sensation. So that feels like pain. I'm a huge Andy Anderson fan. So like I get lost on his Instagram. His style is pure and like just his attitude. And like, dude, he don't care, man. He's got a helmet on, he's got gloves on and he's ripping. So we're gonna pump it up to 150. It'd be like if you skated like five minutes straight, you know, your legs like pump up, but you get to like relax and they'll like release. This never releases, so it's like you get to that 
period of like, ah, and then it just keeps like, keeps gripping. It's like, it's never comfortable. See you tomorrow, Nate. Good session, good training, good PT. It's been a sick day, time for food. After these workouts and get a nice piece of fish, some rice, some salad, and it keeps me going until dinner. I've been eating a lot these days. We got the workouts done, we got some lunch, and uh, now we're on the way back home. Look how sick this helicopter is. I don't know, man, it's hard to explain, dude. I'm just super, super thankful. So this always like, every time I get to drive down here, and I'm like, look at that. Like, this is home. Are you a good boy? We got some poop back here. Time to clean up the poop. That's not a toy. That... <laughs> hey. Let's go show them the house. Let's go show them the house. Dude, it's just a bunch of random stuff, you know? Male skater of the year, rider of the year. I don't remember what the action sports awards were. I just like the fist. Shane thought he was funny. Gave me this picture. Thanks for all the support. <laughs> that's that's something I write on autographs because I mean it. But he he took it as a joke. This is Walter. I got I was supposed to paint it, but I didn't want to ruin it. This is from when they first did that downhill competition, um, where they set up all the craziness going down the street. Those are the X Games medals. A few golds, some silver, some bronze. Kaleidoscope. I don't know where I got this monkey, but I love it. This is one of my tattoo artists, Franco Viscovi. This, shot by the homie Joe. I don't even remember what this was for, but it was scary. A lot of the tricks I've done are scary, but like this was literally like, I don't know how many stories up. My foot was shaking and I, could, I had nothing holding me back. This was one of the only moments where I was like, fuck man, if I fall off this, I'm dead. That was like a really scary photo to take. One of my favorite, like, Photos ever. A classic Don Brown shenanigan. This piece was off a guy that I found on on Instagram, Mata Saba. I just asked him if he could do a Jesus piece. This is what he came up with, and it's like super powerful. He's watching over the house on a, like a lighter mood. <laughs> Willy Wonka over here. This was a gift from my mom. Willy Wonka is one of my favorite movies. Um, top three for sure. The OG one. This is uh, from my. Tattoo artist Brad Reese. He did this all with Sharpie. It's all Sharpie and dots. And then the messiest room in my house that I didn't even want to show you guys, but I will. This is uh, right now the product room. <laughs> it's the guest room, but it's just full of boxes and, and gear and... I gotta find a place for all that stuff. I gotta get all these up on the, uh, on the wall. My grandma, rest in peace, she made all of these for us. It's so cool to have in like this time where everything's all digital and you know we got Snoop Dogg. It makes me smile because I know that she was like probably laughing when she was putting these collages together. I've had a really like fulfilled life. Got to meet a lot of crazy awesome people. This photo was taken at a Maloof Money Cup. Rest in peace, you know, Kobe Bryant. We got TK, Kobe, my homie JJ, and myself signed by Kobe. I did a movie with Dwayne Johnson called The Tooth Fairy. My character was Mick Donnelly. It's cool to be in a movie with him. He was really cool, so I was stoked on that. Dude, everything's all crooked. What the heck? First, like, pieces of coverage in the LA Times. Got a bunch of music, instruments, you know. You play? Not really. I goof around, you know. I love this board. My girlfriend painted this board for me. She's gonna hate that I showed you guys this. I go to Nicaragua once a year on a surf trip with my boys. There's just a local artist down there, dude. And he, he lives in like basically a shanty and he does the most amazing work. I have, dude, I have like 30 more pieces that I just haven't got framed yet, but this is like the one off of um, the Walter Allen pair that we did for Ethica. Yeah, I put Walter's paw print on the pad and had him sign it too. So that's the only one that Walter signed in existence. <laughs> I don't know why I saved that board. This is kind of what me and Pierre were talking about not too long ago. I was at Etnies getting ready to, to design a new shoe and we were talking about the buy a shoe, plant a tree. And when we were in Costa Rica, um, the tribe that we were hanging out with, they made me a bow and arrow. I lost the arrows. I gotta make some more. So this just reminds me of being in, in Costa Rica with the Etnies crew. That's my house, um, the downstairs portion. My room's a mess, so I'm not taking you up there. 
Yeah, I think the next step is just to take Walter out for a walk. Oh, you see, you know. You wanna go on a walk? Yep. Up until like a month ago, I couldn't even walk Walter because like going down this hill was super gnarly on my knee. Like I was talking about earlier, it's like the small victories, you know, like just being able to walk my dog, like so thankful, so stoked. It's a lot of energy expensed over the, you know, the morning hours, but it's good. At least I know it's like when I can actually skate, I'm going to be able to skate for a while. Look at you, WT, fertilizing. All right, Mona, I'll catch you soon. Okay, babe. Good to see you. So that was uh, really what my day in the life looks like right now on this road to recovery and getting back to skating. So hope you enjoyed. I had fun. I'm going to take a nap now. I'm exhausted and you guys don't need to see that. So I'll catch you guys soon when I'm skating. Peace.